Well, two families are speaking out tonight saying a serial killer was allowed to keep killing because of bad work done by police and prosecutors. Yeah, they say the alleged killer bought life insurance policies, then shot his victims and collected the cash. CBS 2's Dave Savini speaks with the families who are fighting to have a cold case reopened and a wrongful conviction overturned. I was just hoping that she would walk through the door. Mikaela Soto was 10 years old when her school teacher mother, Michelle Soto, was murdered. She believes the killer was her mother's boyfriend, this man, Marshall Morgan Sr. She knew her life was in danger. Months before Soto was murdered in 1995, Morgan Sr. took out a life insurance policy on her. He got $107,000. So you believe he killed your mother for profit? Yes. Just as you believe he did it in his son's case? Absolutely. Morgan's senior son, 20-year-old Marshall Morgan Jr., a basketball star at IIT, was shot to death inside this car in 1993. Months earlier, his father, struggling financially, took out a $50,000 life insurance policy on him. Despite the similarities, police never zeroed in on Morgan Sr., and Soto's case went unsolved. If he did it, it needs to be known that he did it. Morgan Jr.'s case ended up being pinned on this man, Tyrone Hood, a complete stranger and father of three. Hood's older brother Thomas, sister Teresa, and niece Angela Hood Jordan all say police and prosecutors got it wrong. You believe your brother is innocent? Yes, I do. And do you believe the police basically framed him? Yes. Hood's fingerprints were reportedly on two beer bottles in Morgan Jr.'s car, but defense attorneys say there was other trash from complete strangers in the car and a fingerprint from another man on this beer can. Like Hood, they all had one thing in common. They all lived near Corliss High School, where Morgan Sr. was a janitor. Attorneys for Hood say the real killer grabbed random trash from the area around Corliss High School and dumped it in the car where the body was found to throw police off. We have a client who is pretty clearly innocent. Attorneys Carl Leonard and John Lovey are fighting to get Hood freed after nearly two decades behind bars. They say Hood never confessed, witnesses recanted, and detectives involved had a history of bad arrests. These particular detectives have been accused for a long, long time. They've been dogged by allegations of making bad cases. My mom deserves justice. Unfortunately, the justice system has failed uh, not just my family, but a lot of families. Marshall Morgan Sr. served time in the 70s for killing a man. And while his girlfriend Michelle Soto's case has gone unsolved, he is in prison now for murdering his next girlfriend, Deborah Jackson. She was also found shot to death in a car. Tyrone Hood's case is being reviewed by the Cook County State's Attorney's Conviction Integrity Unit. Hood's lawyers are hoping he will be granted a new trial or released. A state's attorney spokesperson says the Hood case is in the final stages of investigation and they cannot comment. It goes to court next week again. All right, Dave, thank you.